Oh, I am so excited. Doria, this is the moment you... Doria has not said boo, really, until that last segment. She's, she's just all doing her thing. There you are. Anyway, but she said, early on in the show, she said, I'll come alive again when Dina Martina gets here. And Doria... You get your wish. Dina Martina, one of the brightest lights in all of the performance. Hello. Dina. Thank you, Frank. Hello, Doria. So, Dina, I, I have, miss you. I miss you, too. Why don't you come into this room? Okay. <laughs> I, I'm just, I'm, I'm I know doing you're something far away. in this other room. Yeah. I know. You should come over here sometime. They should put an adjoining door. <laughs> That's what they should do, or really dig a, dig a channel or something. Yeah, work on that. I want to apologize though that I was a little bit late. I was a tiny bit late. I could not, for the life of me, find a hotel room close to the studio. Well, where? And so I just want to apologize. I oh, know it's okay. Where are you staying? Nags Head. Okay. <laughs> 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 so I did the show last yeah. night, took the red eye, and then I took another eye uh, back here this morning. <laughs> I'm glad you're... I'm now, just sorry. And then I slept on the flight. Normally I can't. But this time I was able to, and it was the strongest thing. I actually dreamed a continuation of a dream I started the other night. Have you ever done that? No, I've fallen right just back. Not just from just in a nutshell. No. Have you ever done no, that? No, I'll just, go with no. Okay, thank you. Doria, have you... Never. Well, I did. How was it? It was it was fine. It was interesting. It was noteworthy. The other night, was there an open ending, or is there? It was kind of an open ending. Well, I think it depends on how you look at it. The other night, I dreamed I worked at the perfume counter at NASA. (laughs) <laughs> and then that was that but then just last night I dreamed I was back there again it was my second day on the job and I had a co-worker and she was just a tall drink of water she was real thin and real tan you know she looked kind of like beef jerky with eyes and <laughs> and she comes over to me and she says have you tried our new fragrance and I said why no thank you for asking me what is it And she said, it's a heady fragrance of lavender with notes of tuna. (laughs) And she said, it's called Diving Buddy. And I said, that sounds lovely. And that was it. I woke up and then I was here. Diving Buddy. Uh Uh-huh. Okay. And I assume it's available as an eau de toilette and a parfum. Right, I would assume it's both. I don't speak that much French. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just wanted to ask. I but just know a few things. I know. Uh, no, I used to know. Oh, house is Mason, and then uh, white is blank, and uh, what's the other thing? Oh, um, they say I feel your pain, and in French that means I feel your bread. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> I feel, I feel better now. Uh, Dina Martina is going to be appearing at the Lori Beachman oh, Theater. Oh, I already she, am. I know, but tonight... Well, you said I'm going to be a bit as if tonight's opening night. Last not, night was opening night, and it was a star-studded gala. Who was there? Me. <laughs> That's enough <laughs> And a red carpet. That's perfect. Me and a red carpet. That's going to be the name of my uh, autobiography. Okay. Me and a red carpet. <laughs> I hope you do it. And you'll be there tomorrow, too? Oh, sure. And then how many more nights are you doing? Uh, Well, including tonight and tomorrow and last night, uh, Lucky 7. Fantastic. Because there are four nights next week, Thursday through Sunday. Now, do do New Yorkers appreciate you with the, the verve that they do in Provincetown, which is where I just saw your Yes, show. and you know, I'll tell you something. They actually appreciate me with a little less verve, which I appreciate a great deal. Okay. <laughs> Well, I'm glad that we're... Because ca- they, they appreciate a performer here. And I actually said that to the audience last night. New York City audiences are so appreciative of the kind of talent which I uh, secrete. And I appreciate that to no end. And, well, we, we love you, Tina. And, Thank and you. When, when I'm, I can love I just you, say, yes. I, I just, I'm a little raspy. Do you have, a, do you have something I can drink? Yeah, I have a little bit of iced coffee left. A little bit of iced coffee. Do you have any breakfast wines? Okay. (laughs) I just woke up a little while ago before the flight. So anyway, and then I slept again. I could, on we'll the work. On, well, I'll see what we can get. For okay, you. thank you. Anything for Dina Martina. Dina Martina is one of those performers that unites our Frank show because uh, she's someone that I love and Doria loves and Doria, my husband loves. Doria, <laughs> Doria, Doria. Wait, what's your last name? Is it, oh Biddle, Biddle, Doria Biddle. Biddle. That's right. I always forget it rhymes with Malcolm in the Middle. 
Okay. It, it, it does. That's now, how most people remember it. Yeah. I know, right? Me too. Mm-hmm. Now, your show is called The Best of Dina Martina, but it it's is. not a compilation. It didn't seem, it's felt well, fresh and lovely. In a manner of speaking, yes, it is, Frank, because it's mostly best of, and then there are some new wonderful elements to it as well. And, uh, for instance, there's a video segment that's brand new. And then there's some other uh, stuff. You know, just there's always some spontaneous chatter, chitter. That's true. And some, the night we saw you in Provincetown at the Crown and Ancher, mm-hmm. when you were performing there, um, you there were a few drunky drunkersons in the, in the audience. That they were, they tends were... to happen there because you forget that it's a tourist town and in tourist towns, especially ones that have so much award-winning fudge and, and t-shirt shops <laughs> and mouth-watering fudge too. Do, do, I don't know if you notice this, Frank, but the two main fudge stores are directly across the street from each other and one says in the window award-winning fudge and the other one says mouth-watering fudge and in a town like that, you your audience is going to be fudged out, and they're also uh, going to be wearing new T-shirts, and they're also going to be marinated a great deal sometimes, because <laughs> peeps are on vacation. So I know, and they they but they were eating it up with a spoon. Have you ever now, with a I, ladle? I, I, yes, uh, I was going to say I, I can't imagine this ever happening. But you have you ever had someone who just doesn't appreciate all the the wonderfulness of you? And what do you do as a consummate performer, Dina? At the, well, uh, I, I really don't encounter it much. Okay. I hear I about it, yes. you know, talk I on the street. Imagine. What's that, Doria? I can't imagine you encountering an audience like oh, that. Oh, try. Try <laughs> to imagine it. <laughs> it happens sometimes. You know, but I don't really, you know, I hear talk on the street sometimes, you know, from kids on the f- fresh tip. But uh, <laughs> other than that, I don't, you know, I don't really see it up close and personal. And I thank my lucky stars for that. Do you have a like an entourage that I mean? Do you have people who who protect you who do the way like a J Lo would or the the, the group of people who who look out? No, for you? not really. I don't I don't need it because I'm usually incognita, and so people don't recognize me on the street a lot because I wear a large fedora. Okay, that would do it. Actually, thank you. So I appreciate that yeah. feedback. I I always uh, I love it. A lot. Did you would you work with a stylist or do you do your own? Because I was raving about your opening ensemble and when we saw you. In, thank was, you. I appreciate that feedback as well. I'm quite happy with my opening ensemble in the show. It's and sort of, it's, it was everything I like about the '80s all in one place. Well, I came up with the idea because I collaborate, if you will, will you? I Thank try. you. Uh, with my uh, wardrobe attendant and in Seattle, where I reside, on the opposite side of the country in which we are now featuring, and uh, we collaborate. And uh, I was meeting with him one day where I live, and. Uh, I was just talking, you know, we were kicking around ideas like you do, and I was just wearing a, uh, you know, a negligee for, that I got at uh, Victoria's Big and Tall Secret. And <laughs> that's, that's a big secret. And we were, dro- we were sketching out ideas, and I thought of this one, which I'm not going to give too much away because it's the opening of the show. But uh, I'm very proud that you enjoy that. I thought it, I thought you looked just beautiful. I did. I, I loved it a lot. And I and you also I loved you. You you have a wonderful red uh, uh, number that's gorgeous. On I you. do. It's a red number that I have had for years and years, and it's a perennial favorite. Okay. I I uh, donned it, Jane, <laughs> <It's> a... <laughs> from time to time. I'm, I'm glad you're donning it. Will, will you be Me Will too. you be donning it at the Lori Beachman? I will. I oh, did last fantastic. night, and I did. I Why will wouldn't you again. tonight? Then it well, I can't answer that because I do. Do other performers come to see you? Uh, Once in a while, uh, there was a prominent singer there last night whose name I choose to keep privat. Okay, it's good for you. Thank you. And then there's uh, someone else coming tonight. Does it when you know there are celebrities and other performers in the audience? Does that affect your performance at all? No, because I'm I'm one of them. You know, we're one. Of, we're peas and pods. Okay, well, good. I would. Yeah, I figured. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. No. So I, but I, I just. Oh, go ahead. No, no, I'm just glad that they do. But you mentioned about living in Seattle. Uh, how is your daughter Foebe? Oh, she's. I think she's fine. She was fine in the spring when I left her there. It's been that long. Sure, she's where, eleven. Where, where, oh, <laughs> where, did, where did she spend the the spring and summer? Uh, with a nice person I met in a shop. Okay. <laughs> well, I tried to find a shitter. No, I know. I'm sure you tried to find a shitter, but it, uh, but where did? What kind of store was it? 
Oh gosh, I can't remember. It might have been a Hickory Farms because I love me some free samples and stuff. I'm sure. Well, good. Well, that's good because she could eat well there. Well, sure, if they let her. Well, I would hope she's probably she, if she's as charm if she's half as charming as you, Dina Martinez. <laughs> then, <laughs> I, then I, then I, you know, I. I I'm sorry, no, I think then. Don't she, be sorry. She'll do You're well. You're flirting. For, stop it. Anyway, I am. So I'm <laughs> sure she'll she'll uh, she'll do well. Have you? Has anyone like? Uh, like Mac Cosmetics or any of those people, have they ever asked you? Because you're well, no one does lips as beautifully as you. Thank you, do. I appreciate that feedback. They they actually contacted me and they were thinking about uh, doing a, a separate line for plus boned girls like myself. And so, boy, plus uh, size they were going to call it Big Mac. Yes, okay. they were going. Yes. <laughs> and so we're still talking about that. You should. You know, I hear that's very lucrative. I heard that and fragrance. I'm gonna have to look very, that up. Yeah, look. Yeah. It, it, it would bring the cash in. Is what I mean, which is good. Okay. Because you know, you just sure. outfits, gorgeous outfits like you wear don't come cheap. As they you don't know. cost a penny. No. No. Anyway. <laughs> Not a lot. So, will you be doing your holiday show again in Seattle? Because you're, aren't you a I tradition there now? You're, you're, I am. Thank you. Yes, you, I, I think you are to Seattle what like the Rockefeller tree is to New York. Or well, I thought you were going to say what the Rockettes are to New York City. But sure, well, I'll be a tree. Okay. <laughs> if you're well, yes, a kind no, of tree, yeah. what kind of tree? Yeah. Apparently, Frank says I'm a Christmas tree, <laughs> so that's fine. And a pretty one at that. I oh, Frank. No, but wait. So, flirty McGurdy. What is what is it like? What's the Christmas show like, Dina Martina? Well, it's fast. Um, it's you know it's a different one every year except for last year because it was I realized that I had never ever done a holiday compilation so I did that this last year and that was real neat but every year I write a brand new one so it's a melange a delightful melange uh, if I might say so of a uh, a traditional favorites, you know, uh, all the ones that we uh, grew up with and grew tired of when we were teenagers. <laughs> and then uh, some fresh new uh, hits as well. So, Are there fresh new performers who are inspiring to you? Or, or, or oh, gosh. Or maybe ones you've inspired. I don't know. Maybe it's the other way. I sure. Well, you know, so my favorite performer, I got a couple. Uh, I got to say Bridget Everett is my favorite performer performer uh, on the planet, I think, pretty much, and Amber Martin, too. I love me some them. Now, Bridget Everett, I have watched her show up with a bottle of wine and consume the bottle of wine. And she leaves with an empty. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, she, she does. Now, now, Dina, you know, I, you had, as I recall, you had like one little cocktail, just a few sips I do, I only do. Straw. I yeah. only do recreational Kahlua. That's all yeah. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Good. That's enough. Thank you. I, th I bet there's an. an Dabble, it's probably, do you? It's probably got a, a carbohydrates for energy too. I would. It think. does. It does. I don't like that Red Bull stuff. You know, I do. If I'm, you know, feeling like an adult, I'll do some just a little dab of Kahlua in a jigger. But then if if I'm just having something, you know, uh, you know, if I'm out just coasting on my street cred, then I'll have some hot Sprite. Okay. Hot I like hot Sprite because that's what all the kids up in Toronto drink. Hot Sprite. Sure. Okay. Because when it's, I would assume Toronto, it's cold and they want hot Sprite. Does it warm them right? Oh, up I or? don't overanalyze it. From. Okay. No, I don't. Dina Mar. <laughs> I wouldn't think you'd want to. We're talking to Dina Martina. She's doing the best of Dina Martina at the Lori Beachman it's Theater. It's the cream of the drawer. It, it definitely is, uh, which is inside the West Bank Cafe, and it's uh, this weekend, uh, tonight and tomorrow, and then four performances next week, and you must go. And what, Doria, what do we always tell people? They said, don't ask questions, just go, right? Do yeah, you find, yeah, well, yes. yeah, we can't, just, I, I just tell people, I'm not going to describe it, just go, you'll love it. Thank you. Because people do, I mean, when you get, I assume you get reviews. Now, what, you told me that on, Not on, too often. No, but there was one, you have that groovy t-shirt that I have to, you have to make more of those t-shirts with the chef on it. Um, oh, yes. You said there was a review that was on there. What? How did the reviewer describe you? Oh, it's a, it's a lovely, vibrant black t-shirt. I only have them in extra small now. Um, Perfect so, for Doria. Or okay. puppet shows. <laughs> but um, it, it's got a chef on it, and it says Dina Martini, because that's my name. And then under it, it has a delightful quote, which was, in fact, in a real review I received that was a positive review. And it says, Dina Martina, as graceful as a Coke machine moving about on a hand truck. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did uh, when you did you you took that the right way? I assume uh, in, in a positive sense. Right? Sure, yeah. real slow around the corner. Okay, good. Yeah, <laughs> I did. But <laughs> I gotta say, speaking of chefs, yes. you know something? This city, this city, New York City. 
uh, you cannot poop without hitting a foodie or a chef or something like that. Because I like to go and shit outside the, uh, the Today Show and watch them over there, you know. And uh, Katie looks real different these days. I got to tell you, she doesn't look the same. <laughs> yeah. But... A little bit. Yeah. They always have chefs on there. But I got a big, major bone to pick with all the chefs in this city because they don't, it's bait and switch as far as I'm concerned. Because the, the, all those chefs, like uh, the naked chef, he's wearing clothes. I'm sorry. It's disconcerting. And the barefoot Contessa is wearing shoes. And she's not even False royalty. She is not royalty. And it oh, makes wait, so me she's think not even about barefoot or it. She's not, she's none of the above. You yeah. check. You check the boxes below. None of the above, <laughs> and then uh, the, the, you think back way back when the galloping gourmet. He didn't gallop. No. And, uh, and don't get me started on Julia Child. <laughs> she was an adult. <laughs> I never thought, Tina. I, you know, you always. It's it's a delight to have you, but I didn't. Thank I don't you. always feel like I learn things, but I'm I'm learning things today. Doria, did you? Me th- too. That was a great. You know, we had someone here. We had actually someone here from the Food Network before, from the Cooking Channel. Maybe there's was it Mo Rocca? He was here. Yes, I saw him. He was. Did he see you? He, he oh, did. Good. Have and you ever, have you met before? We met out in the lobby. Oh, I'm so glad you did. We flew over from Provence Town together, but we didn't we didn't say anything. It was on the DL. Okay, or the DM, <laughs> the Dina Martina. Yes, don't. Or the, yeah, don't. Dina. I was. Uh, uh, I I I follow you, of course, on Twitter. Because I know I have you, a restraining you, order. <laughs> uh, and Alan Cumming went to see your show. He this did. Summer. He is a lovely piece of stuff, and he now, came to see my show uh, in uh, New York June, City. Yes. Oh, was that? Oh, I thought it was in P Town. Because no, I was it was in, see now. It was in June, and I'm always here in the city in June. Because uh-huh. I do I do shows on Gay Pride Tuesday. It's a real big deal. <laughs> See, Game my Pride Tuesday is, is a big day. Uh-huh. Yeah, so, I need to be a better the stalker. Is too Dina. obvious. Yeah, what? no, a Tuesday is is better. So with uh, with the do the the gays, how big of a, an audience is the gay community for you, Dina Martina? Oh, I don't know. I think it's a <clears throat> a him. I'm sorry. It's uh, you know, a mediocre uh, amount, I suppose. Okay. <laughs> Well, I think they. I think the gays need to get on the on the train if they're not already on the Dina Martina train. They they definitely do they. Well, should. I hope they're in a different car. Okay, <laughs> because I like privacy. Okay, well, as long as they're buying the tickets, that's all that matters. As long for as the train, sure. The train I don't want no freeloaders. The best uh, of uh, Dina Martina. So when you, now you spend the whole summer in Provincetown, right? Pretty much. Oh, I do, and then some. And then I'm there for about a thousand years every year. <laughs> and what? Feels. What what makes you want to spend time in Provincetown? We always try to explain Provincetown to people who've never been there. Well, it's a steady jig for one, but then, <clears throat> and there is the aforementioned fudge, um, and it's real pretty <laughs> little spig of the land. Yeah, you know, and it's just it's just real nice. It's, you know, it's real slow uh, pace there. You know, slower than here in New York City, where it's like everyone's running around like, you know, chickens with with choices. I mean, there's so much to do here. (laughs) We are. We are running around like chickens with choices. I know. true. I hadn't thought about that, but it's... it's Frank, think about it. You should think about it. We are. I don't think about a lot, but I do. But when I'm I'm with you, I'm a little flustered, Dina. I just... My my affection gets... Runs away with me. Is it it really true what I heard on the street is Jim's birthday today? It is. I love me some that. Yeah. Jim's a good egg. He is. He's a real good egg. And he gets hazard pay. Jim... Wait, was it... What's his last name? Colucci. Colucci. I always think it's Golucky. Not like, anymore. Jim Golucky. He's not anymore. He's not, not after being with me. Not after 18 years. Of I know, right? So do you do you have a significant other these days, Dina? Oh, no. I've had some in the past. There was, uh, oh, gosh, I haven't thought about these guys for a long time. But uh, I was seeing one gentleman who uh, who's, who's quite nice, quite well-behaved and well-mannered and everything. And, you know, the thing I loved about him is he he's had his own circle of friends, you know. He didn't just rely on me for social things. And he was still good friends with all his college buddies and all that. And they all had nicknames for each other, you know. They used to call him Reach Around. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> and I just thought, you know, oh, that's real neat and stuff. And, and I said one time, I was like, what's that nickname, you know, mean Reach Around? You know, where's that come from? 
him because I'd never heard such a thing. And he was like, oh, honey, you don't want to know it. You know, it's a, it's a sports thing, you know. <laughs> and so that's all I had to say because I don't like the sports. You know, I don't want to know about it or nothing. So I said, that's okay. You just run along to your football rehearsal, <laughs> you know, so... <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm glad there'll be someone. You know, you don't seem like the kind of woman though that pines for a gentleman. Like you don't. I don't, don't really. I'm in love with show business. Yeah, and, and and it with you. What's that? And it with and show business. Oh, okay, with sure. You. You're talking like Shakespeare and yeah. stuff now. <laughs> it with you, and that's the no. Was it? Uh, that's that's the thing. No, what did, what did he say? He said the play she, is the thing. Oh, he did. He said a play is a thing, and he said. <laughs> stuff like i don't i don't remember i'm gonna have to look it up well well we will look up information the best way it seems to find out about you is to go to dinamartina.com that is really the best okay and well i'm excited and the best of dina martina any show is the best of dina martina because she puts it out there in the best way but this is a special show and do you, you mean any of my shows or do you just mean your, any show in any, show, any any <laughs> dina martina show is the best you put out the best always? And oh, the, thank this you. one is called the best of Dina Martina, and it, it really is. It's truth in advertising. Good, it's this unlike you, Barefoot Contessa. Yeah, get with the program, lady. Yes, so anyway, uh, Ina Garten, she's not even in a garden, right? No, yeah, she's it's true. Not. It's another one. Thank anyway, you. I'm with you, Dina Martina. So, anyway, tonight and tomorrow at the Lori Beachman Theater inside the West Bank Cafe, and next week, on too, second, and then four performances. I think tonight, well, tonight might have some tickets left, maybe. Uh, due to a clerical error, of <laughs> course. But tomorrow is completely sold out. But there's tickets available uh, again due to a clerical error next week, Thursday through Sunday. So definitely do that and go to dinamartina.com and yes. you can buy tickets there and you can also see more and uh, and there are photos and so many other ways to worship at the you altar can, of Dina Martina. Or you can also, the quicker you can cut out the middleman, i.e. me, and you can just go to spincycleNYC.com. That works too. Yes. I'll send them over there. Dina Martina, thank you. It's always a joy being thank with you. Thank you, Fran and Doria. Knock them dead for the next week and then come and see us in L.A. in January. Doria, are you there? I am, oh, and I can't you. wait to see you again, Dina. Me too. She's coming in January, Doria. I'll be I'll there be in Los Angeles in, in January. I'm excited. I will be there. We'll Thank be, you. We'll be waiting for you in Los Angeles. She's such a quiet bird. <laughs> it's the cage. It's really it's electrified. It? When we return to the Frank Show, we'll give you our parting shots here on the Frank Show. <laughs> 